Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Late Show. Folks, my first guest tonight is the former mayor of South Bend, Indiana, who currently leads the United States Department of Transportation. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Secretary Pete Buttigieg. Nice to see ya. Nice to see ya. Good to be back. I, I gotta say, I was just thinking as you were coming out here, I, was, I always enjoy having you on here since the first time you were on here as a, a candidate yeah. for a presidency, uh, is that not a lot of secretaries of transportation over the years have been on late night talk shows. Well, I'm glad to be part of changing that. Yeah, you are. You are. You're a change maker. <laughs> it's been, we're coming up on the year anniversary of the infrastructure bill, right? That's right. Okay. So uh, you've been out there making it rain all over the country. <laughs> Did, is, is infrastructure fun? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What's the, most, what's the most fun thing about roads and bridges? I mean, fixing them? Them not being broken? I, I don't know. Why, I mean, you like fixing stuff? Yeah. I mean, I think there's a reason why children, for example, are fascinated, right, with trucks and roads and trains and, and planes. It's, it's exciting. You just got to keep that sense of magic in it when you're doing the very hard blocking and tackling of you got actually the, maintaining and building that you stuff. You got the best set of Tonka trucks of all time. All time. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is like, you, you've actually, you know, been interested in infrastructure for a long time. As the mayor of South Bend, here you are getting a giant novelty check uh, for the roads of uh, South Bend for yeah. $670,000. <laughs> 2017. Five years later, here you are as the Secretary of Transportation giving out the giant novelty check for $19.5 million <laughs> in New Hampshire. I mean, uh, talk to me about the big novelty check. This seems like a pretty small check for $19.5 million. <laughs> Shouldn't the size of the check reflect the size of the amount? So if you get into billions, you need, to, like, a flatbed truck to bring the check? I guess, yeah. It'd be harder to yeah. fit it on the plane that way, though. I, I guess so. You know, I, I think it is important not to be too subtle about the message, because I, I think uh, sometimes folks forget what government is doing for them if we fail to make it clear. And of course, it's not just about the check, it's, it's about the results. Uh, the project we're doing there in New Hampshire, for example, is gonna help them in a very blue collar town that hasn't gotten the attention that it's needed for their downtown streets. We're gonna help them transform the economic opportunities of that community with funding that's gonna go to redoing their streetscapes. And they have this biomass power plant nearby, uh, which has to do a lot in order to cool, they have a cooling tower. And there's a way they can actually route some of the, uh, some of the coolant or the, the, the water that comes from that tower under the sidewalks, melting the snow and saving taxpayer money on the process of plowing it. So, as a former so mayor, the power plant yeah. melts the sidewalk. That's right, yeah, great. they take. They're basically taking the waste heat. It helps the power plant cool off their their get rid of their waste heat, and it helps the town deal with snow. Which any mayor from north of uh, a certain latitude knows that you know the battle of mayors versus snow is is second only to the battle of mayors versus potholes in you know the, the great kind of predator prey relationships in local government and now i get to be uh, someone who, who's helping mayors across the country like i used to be deal with things like that so you as the secretary uh, of, of transportation the infrastructure bill is 1.2 trillion dollars yep. okay um when you were mayor um rounding up to the nearest trillion how much money did you <laughs> did you have at your control then? So it would be about, uh, what is that, like a percent of a percent? Much, much less. Much, much be, less yeah. that. So <laughs> rounding up to the first trillion, it would be one trillion. One trillion, rounding yes, up. Yes, if you rounded that way, round, I suppose round, it would. Rounding up. Yeah. Road Scholar? <laughs> yes. Okay. Technically, yeah. All right, does it make you mad, or do you get frustrated when, when, when people who voted against the bill, like Rick Scott and Representative Tony Gonzalez, don't refuse the money and then actually make a big deal about having gotten the money for their constituents. It is striking that people went to the floor of the House or Senate and said, no, this infrastructure funding should not happen. And then they can't wait to be there uh, when that funding is coming to their district. Mm -hmm. But Do you, you make know. them hold the big check? <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that. I might try that. It'd be uh, good. You and the check and them. But I also, there's nothing better than seeing a skeptic become a convert. And so, uh, you know, I think, I call it the sincerest form of flattery. 
if somebody was against your policy, and then when it's actually benefiting people who live in their communities, yes. they can't hug you close enough. And I'll say this, I mean, politics aside, the people who live in those communities shouldn't be punished of because their senator or their house member said no to this funding. We're gonna serve everybody equally. I suspect you would say something like that. I suspected you would have the, the, the best interest of the American people at heart. Well, thanks. I'd, I'd, I'd like to think that's how we think about mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it comes from the top. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it can be frustrating politically yeah. uh, when, when you see that sort of stuff go on. But, you know, look, this is, this is part of a pattern that we've often seen where uh, many uh, congressional Republicans mm -hmm. take stances that seem to be more about the problem than about the solution. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you look at even the things that they talk about the most often, mm -hmm. uh, immigration, inflation. I mean, name, of, of all the things congressional Republicans have proposed policy-wise, can anybody name the top five things that they've suggested to fight inflation? Can anyone name three? How about one? You know, they voted no on the Inflation Reduction Act that was about lowering prices for Americans. And I would have loved nothing more than to have a debate between the Democratic Re Inflation Reduction Act and the Republican Inflation Reduction Act on the House of the Floor and Senate and argued over which one was better, but there was only one, and it was ours. And luckily, it passed. We have to take a quick break. When we come back, I will ask the Secretary what it's like to be a new father. Stick around, everybody.